All right, hey, how's it going, guys? I am back and just trying to think distance wise. I am going to throw on a half decent ball since I just got three. Hopefully, keep that momentum going. Either use a mummy or a movie ball. Man, turkey ball might be nice too. Man, I really don't want to use, I don't, I don't want to waste these though. That's the problem. So I better make this. <laughs> Enticing myself to get this. So I am going to be going at it with Sniper. That's what I recommend you guys going at it with as well. I'm assuming it's going to be more towards Max. I'm just thinking about how, you know, I've played it from the second tee box and it's been kind of min distance. So I'm assuming we're going to be more towards Max distance. And if power wise, I can't get it here. You are going to see me probably up it to a mummy ball, and I'm assuming that will be the difference between not being able to get there and being able to get there. So I'm going to take the more risky approach, which is straight at the hole. Um, I'm assuming that I'm going to back off of the top spin just a little bit, but as you can see, you know, I am going into power here, but I do believe. Ooh, that's going to be tight. That is going to be tight. I'm going to switch it up. I am going to switch it up. So I am going to back off a little bit on the backspin that I put. Because it is straight into the wind here. You are going to see me go at least nine rings from this point. There's five. Let's see what this looks like. Just couldn't hold it. Man, that is going to be the shot, but it's going to be a little risky. Um, you always want to, you know, be a little conscientious when uh, aiming so close to the bunker. But as you can see kind of what we're looking at, I'm assuming doing it this way, you can probably still get away with it. Um, I may consider this approach. I don't recommend cranking the backspin up too much. As you can see how fast my ball's stopping, um, it's going to be more prone to doing that the shorter and shorter you go on this fairway. So I really don't think that you should set up this short Unless you're going to take off more of the backspin. Let's see how this works, though. Um, I don't think that's enough rings. Oh, let's see what this looks like. Like, if, if I was going to, you know, play it short off this fairway, I would go, like, ten rings if it was me on that wind. Um, and as you can see, that's kind of the reason I like I kind of anticipated that ball was going to uh, come up short there. And uh, sure enough, it did. Same with mine. Um, I don't know if you were paying attention to my shot, but uh, I was very, you know, um, generous with, you know, applying those rings. I know I, I adjusted very quick, but uh, if you replay it and actually count how much I went... I definitely did an overplay intentionally because I knew I was going into power. And anytime you go into power, same like you've already seen me do on one or two of the shootouts, is uh, you know you have to add an extra two or three rings. So be cautious of that if you do do this approach. But as you can see, landing it as short as she did, um, still good. So. Um, wasn't the end of the world. Um, so, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. I mean, you know, I could just as easily, you know, overplay, which I want to avoid. So you want to, you know, avoid the overplay, if anything. But uh, as you can see, just the way that I was setting up there, kind of, you will be able to get that with the straightforward approach. Um, especially with a couple tries. That was, you know, try number one. And uh, not failing on try number one is always a good thing. But uh, sometimes when you fail anyway, you still learn more than, uh, more than you don't learn anyway. So it's not the end of the world. Let's 
And it's going to be a similar thing for, you know, when you need to, you see that I'm, I'm well into power here. Um, this is going to be a little bit challenging to set up. Here I'm going to use, I'm thinking four backspin here. This is going to be a tricky one because I'm going to be going into power here. Um, and like I said, you know, you need to make sure if you're doing this adjustment that you're going at least 10 rings on situations like this. So here you're going to see me way up here. That might even be 11. I anticipate that I'm going to miss right, but uh, there's good news about missing right here is it's not in trouble. <laughs> so I'm okay with intentionally missing right. And there you see, I am missing right. Um, and no real problem there. So not too bad. So good luck with that fourth hole. Um, hopefully you find a strategy that works. As you can see, um, wind resistant balls are going to almost be cr critical if you are going at it my approach, which was that straightforward. Um, I'm assuming if you're going to throw on a kingmaker, do not try that approach. I would go to the right more, likely, more than likely and try going at it that way if you're kind of short on balls or whatever. But you can probably pick up that movie ball and maybe get away with it because it, it's very similar to a turkey. No, I'd probably, I'd probably suggest a turkey as an alternate. You know, I felt like I was probably going to need to go into a little bit power on a turkey. Just like one or two bars. So keep that in mind if you are setting up for that one. Um, good luck to getting that. Um, that would be a great addition to any round. So good luck out there. And look forward to hole number five coming up momentarily.